Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm here with my wonderful red pawpaw wife, Laura. And we're here to open up the red pawpaw for June. Yes, that is the month we're in. June. June. <laughs> um, if you haven't seen our videos of these before, uh, Red Pawpaw is an Australian grocery subscription box that comes every two months. Yes. Um, I think it's $20 if you sign up new now, from memory. I think um, we, we've been getting it for a while, so, so we have it at a cheaper price. Um, yeah, so... Go on. <laughs> <laughs> they give a sort of sneak peek um, at the start of... Well, before the, each box sort of comes out and gets delivered to you. Yes. Um, We're not looking forward to this one. No, apparently it's going to be a Revlon product or some and sort of. Not just any, but a thirty-dollar retail value um, Revlon product. And the issue with that is that the box only has a sixty-dollar value. So half, so the, half the box is one item that's not actually a grocery item. It's more of a health no, and beauty item. No, and I mean which, you're not you know, really into like no, a lot of creams. No, it's not not my whatever, cup of tea at whatever all. Whatever it may be, so so it leaves very little room for this box to impress us. I think it's a lot lighter than other boxes too. How about we stop talking? We open it up and we crack on. All right, let's get the scissors. All right, Ta -da. we cut it open, but we haven't looked or pulled anything out yet. Yeah. Oh. We should mention there was one other sneak peek. So there was two things in the in the little sneak peek, which was uh, something we've already reviewed on the channel several weeks ago oh, now. So the, the uh, new Cadbury formula chocolate. smooth the, dark. The dark dark milk, yeah. Um, which they're also giving out free samples of everywhere. Yeah, you went to Big W and they literally gave you a full bag full of little sample size ones. Yeah. This one was like, oh, do you want a sample? I'm like, sure. And she's like, I'll put it in your bag for you. And she threw like 20 of them in my bag. No joke. Like just small ones. But still, that, that's a big sample size. It's an entire block or more. Now, what I will mention, the first thing when we sort of look in here is only half the box is full. Yeah, it's really, really empty. Um, looks like we've got a sample for the first thing. Usually these are full size products too. So it's very rare to see sample stuff in them. Yeah. So, so this is uh, the Chia Co Oats and Chia. So I'm going to open up and have a close look. This is the brand um, we got the last box for uh, it a salad, salad sal helper. I think. Yeah, you sprinkle it in your salad and things like that and it gives you all the extra stuff that comes from chia yeah. seeds and all that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so nutritious dairy-free porridge. Oats and, uh, and chia. So... Um, we don't really eat oats yeah. for breakfast, but I will eat it to try it, so that's fine. Uh, yeah, it's a very small pack though, yeah. so that, that'll have to be with like a banana or a piece of fruit, I think. Well, it shows servings with like fresh fruit yeah. and stuff like that. But right. yeah, um, nothing against those. Ooh, something for yes. Nathan. <laughs> so, Sipars, I really like these. I actually remember when they were on... Even, even though you're lactose intolerant. Yes. Um, <laughs> The, these originally appeared in like an adventure show on like ABC like 15 years ago or something. So, if you say so, um, they're pretty much just flavored beads in a straw, and you put it in like milk, and it flavors the milk as you drink up, so you don't get as much sugar and. It's like portion controlled and yeah, all so the fancy sort of stuff. Are these their regular flavors? Because they have yes. limited edition ones as well that I've seen. So, so this is cocoa bean chocolate, luscious strawberry, mellow yellow banana smoothie, okie dokie cookies and cream, and chilled out choc mint. So, so you take out the, there's one of one of each. You take out there. the you take out the corporate speak out of that like banana, you know, strawberry <laughs> vanilla. Yeah. Um, but um, I really like those. So yeah, so that, that's great for but, you. But they've been around for a, quite a while, and you've like, had them. Yeah, well, the, the, it's not any limited edition flavor or anything, so it's no. a, bit, a bit odd. Yeah, the idea of this box is more to share like new products, which I think has sort of shifted a bit lately mm. um, with some of the boxes. So I'm not sure we'll be actually getting any more of no. these. No. Anyway, Uncle Toby's. Oh, here's a limited edition. Uncle Toby's Aussie Faves Chewy Lamington Flavor, like muesli bars. So how about we just... So, that's different. It's we're, a pity I don't really like Lamington. We're on a mission to bring Aussies, their all-time fave flavors. You know, the ones that made you smile, blah, 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 blah. So basically, I reckon there's going to be... Lots of blah, blah, blah there, I There's going to be more, more flavors, probably like a pavlova one or... I hope so. Meat um, pie flavored muesli bar. If, you, if anyone sees a different flavor, let us know, because I'd be happy to check other flavors out, but I'm just not a big coconut person. We'll have person. to do this as a separate review, I reckon. I reckon it'd be interesting. Or sure. if we can find the other ones, if yeah. there are other ones. Um... Yeah, I don't really like coconut that much, so Lamington's no, not well. my favourite. Oh, um, gee. Here's our dark milk, which um, if you want to see a review, um, just have a look on the channel. We've done not only the regular flavour, but the other flavours of it as well. So. And they were okay. I prefer just the regular. Don't spoil the review. <laughs> 
I'm just reaching in. Sorry, you lost your turn. Oh. Okay. Oh, uh, all natural coconut pumpkin soup from Heart and Soul. So coconut pumpkin, huh? Yeah. A Thai fusion of lemongrass, shallots, galagay, gal Langle. ginger, and coriander. Oh, you'll love that. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say if anyone's watched like other um, mm. food reviews and that, I hate lemongrass. So, so and I'm coming, not a big soup eater either. So that'll be coming to work with me. <laughs> it's funny, it really sounds like I hate everything, but there's so many good foods that I like and, and that, and oh, <laughs> it's just we keep getting the ones that, yeah. Well, how about flavors. you hold on that? Revlon, this is our $30 unique so, one hair treatment. This is, yeah, all in one hair treatment, 10 real benefits. Repair for dry and damage on board. Please don't read all 10. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's to repair your hair. Help defrizz and adds body, a whole bunch well, of I stuff. I suppose you could um, use that lace. But... Look, I will. I'll, I'll try it out, but it's just not something I would ever really think that I wanted to try. Nor do I see it as a grocery item. I so... can't eat it unless I want to be really un unwell. <laughs> well, there are like household cleaning products in this, but I don't know. I just health and beauty for me is a totally different yeah, box kind of thing. It's not really related much to the, the housekeeping and things. And no. Uh, another Uncle Ooh, Toby's product, yuck. dark choc mocha nuts muesli bar. Mm, so, yummy. Nathan is not a coffee lover, which you probably know if you've watched the channel before. Um, it's I don't eat coffee flavored things, but I don't actually like nuts in my muesli bar. It's actually it's actually <laughs> nice and heavy, so it feels like a good quality like muesli bar. It, but it's funny because you would really like a muesli bar with nuts, but I wouldn't. But no. then you don't want it because it's coffee flavored. So interesting. Oh, lots of pouches left. Okay. Uh, Bioglan Superfoods Coconut Chips. Like, did we get something like, like this? Chocolate ones. Um, maybe we saw some at the Good Food no, Wine show. We had some in the cupboard and I said, you want to try one? And you said it was disgusting. Didn't we buy those? Or maybe that was in our last box. I don't I've know. forgotten already. Uh, um, so the coconut chips, um, then they taste a bit chocolatey. Yeah. I mean, you like coconut yeah, chips. they're so fine. This is the box for you and then for, the, for no one. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> We have mug shot, which are basically just like soupy pasta, and you put water in it. And the pasta doesn't cook very well. Yeah, so Laura's had these before. We bought them when they're on special, and yeah. you were not a fan um, of them. And we've also had them in a box previously as well. So they're really starting to get quite repetitive. Oh, I hope there's no craisins in here. Oh, we've got like craisins almost every um, box. Yeah, with those, the pasta doesn't cook, and the water level they tell you is not right to get it to come out the way it should. And it's really just pasta in a cup. Whereas it says soup, doesn't it? Or vice no vice versa. Oh. It says pasta in a cup, but it comes... Yeah, it says pasta, but it's very, very soupy. If you put the amount of water in it, it tells you to. Rather than a pasta, so... Mm. I'll, I'll yeah. take it to work, I guess. What have we got? Uh, we have a soup in a cup, chicken and vegetable. Did you know that looks like... Lazuppa? La Lazuppa? That looks like our um, cat food satchels. <laughs> I'm sure it's a lot nicer than that. Um, they've definitely gone the, the winter... Oh, obviously. Soup route. Do we have much left? Oh, yes. Oh. Norbu? Natural sweetener. Um, I'm not sure they've used that particular one in the box before, but they have had other um, natural sweeteners. What so. is what is monk fruit? It's a sweet melon. I assume it's, it's like extract from this monk fruit. I guess so. Alright. We know there's a couple more things we might just box. So we have a Better Homes and Gardens magazine. Yep. Um, yeah, I mean, if you like reading Better Homes and Gardens, and it's I mean, alright. There's a bit of everything. There's something in there for everyone, generally. So. We, we don't own our own home, so de decorating ideas there and are stuff generally there. don't help. Yes, but not that many. No. I'd rather a recipe magazine. I think that fits better with the idea of the box. At least it's not a... What was the first couple? Women's Health. Yeah. That yeah. Was, <laughs> um, oh, here oh. we go. Oh. So this is the Aussie Fave oh. Muesli Bar little ad, and the other one is Oh My Choc. Don't they literally have the same thing right now in store, like I don't a know. choc chip muesli bar? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really know how that's particularly Aussie. Uh, they've, uh, literally, they've got. <laughs> I swear that exact same one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Oh, it's a new flavor of this. Uh, it's called Twenty Eight Black. It's like a energy drink. Uh, yeah, so there's a, a white version and a black version. I can't remember the flavors of them. I'm not sure if we've tried them. This is pink grapefruit mint. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> um, Would you like to hear? Oh, it's got uh, current can I, concentrate from can I just carrot. Say, I'm not a huge mint lover. Um, I've taken to it a bit more since I gave birth the second time, yeah, weirdly. But grapefruit is just. Ugh. Um, oh boy. <laughs> well, it's got like no taurine in it, which is no, generally. We got caffeine though. It's got natural caffeine, so I don't know what it is, but I reckon it's going to taste awful. That'd be my vote, and I think we have one. One more thing. Oh, another salted caramel and almond nuts bar. Cool. Um, That's a much nicer looking one. I have to say, like, I, I really I like the idea of getting this box, and I really really want to enjoy it. But they're getting very repetitive with some of the products. Like we've had the mug shop before. Um, I think we've had sippers in the box yeah. before as well. I'm, I'm almost positive we've had some and, sort of coconut. Yeah. Um, chips before. So that's a little disappointing and ha having half the value of the box being a product that doesn't necessarily fit the theme of the box that well either. Yeah, yeah. It... But this is sold exclusively in hairdressing salons. Oh. <laughs> and red poor poor boxes. Also, can I say, if you don't like soup or muesli bars, uh, that, that's the other half of the box always. <laughs> So, yeah, well, I think the, gear, the box is definitely geared towards me, but I agree there's an awful lot of similarity. Yeah, similar types of items and the, and the same like repeated And we've seen products. a lot of like brand new products out and about recently, oh, so they, heaps, they could have yeah. easily Yeah, definitely. With, like there's a whole bunch of like new Red Rock Deli chips out there they could have put in and... Yeah, I mean, I, I know it's, it's uh, some of it is like which companies, you know, agree to do something with them, but yeah, I think this will probably be our last one at least for, for now, um, and then we'll check out other people's reviews and maybe if it improves again in the future, we'll like, mm. resubscribe. Reminds me of Loot Crest. That was really great, and then as it got more popular, it sort of took a nosedive, unfortunately. Yeah. If you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know, um, did you get this box and what you thought, or was there anything different in it? I know some people yeah, last some variations time, yeah, between some slightly couple. different things. So let us know down below. Um, hit subscribe so you don't miss any new videos, and we'll probably review some of these coming up on the channel as well. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.